for SpongeBob. Give SpongeBob some likes, mate. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar. Yes, <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, integrating uh, the Rosetta function this with respect to A's. <sighs> It was a joke at first, but people were so interested in this thing for some odd fucking reason. I'm, I'm going to do this. Also, my Christmas merch finally arrived here at my house also. I've got myself the samples and it just looks fabulous. You can see all the numbers and the print quality is just so nice. 10 to 15% of everything. Papa Flemmy's shop up until the end of December. Check it out. Support the channel that way, okay? <laughs> Seriously, thank you for all your support. I. I highly appreciate it and I'm putting so much of this money into equipment and whatsoever. I can't thank you guys enough. You, you are making this YouTube ex experience so unique for me. We're going to integrate Resetter the function in this today and at first let us write out the definition of the setter function. Okay, that's, that's the most natural thing to actually do. The integral of the infinity boy where k is greater or equal to 1, okay, 1, nice, 0, 1 over k to the s power ds. Now, let me rewrite 1 over k to the s power a little bit. That's the same as k to the negative s power. Also, if you have a to the b power, okay, b ooh, b power, then that's the same as e to the natural log of a times b. <laughs> okay, I had to think about it. Do not judge me. <laughs> I'm just a regular human old faggot. So, no, 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 no. I'm just a human person, okay? I probably have to censor that because such justice warriors are going to come in and say, no, 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 not politically correct. I do not give a shit, okay? So, this is the same as e to the negative s, natural log of k. I hope you agree with me. Now, we have a new definition basically, or the very same definition basically, of 1 over k to the s power. Also, we are going to interchange those two limits, integral and summation. And we are going to do this without any restrictions. I do not have at this point in time a nice um, explanation for why we can do this, simply because I'm not certain if the Riemann zeta function even converges uniformly. What you need to interchange those two, okay, to use Tonelli or Fubini. I suppose it converges point-wise, but this is in normal case not enough to interchange those. Pure mathematicians, please leave your opinion down in the comments below. I'm simply going to interchange those two, okay? Now, okay, being greater or equal to 1, integral of e to the negative s, natural log of k, integrated with respect to s and, well, it's an easy thing, it's, it's really nothing hard. The only hard thing is to really justify why you can interchange those limits. Now we are simply going to integrate this exponential function, okay? It's as easy as it is, meaning we are going to end up with the infinity boy. Integrating this, okay, with respect to s is going to give us a negative sign. And also we are going to get the natural log of k. Uh, no, you stopped the pop of Lemmy. You know, you just try to enjoy your fucking holidays and then I'm doing a mistake yet again. For sure, if you integrate the exponential function, you have to get the natural log back into the denominator because if you differentiate everything, you want to get back to the original expression. I'm terribly sorry. This has been the second time in the advent calendar that I did a stupid, stupid fucking mistake. Yeah, um, I'm terribly sorry for that. Some of you have seen it. This right here is a re-upload probably. Oh, I hate doing mistakes. It's, it's, it just happens sometimes. If you integrate a lot of extravagant exotic stuff over and over again, then you just end up uh, mixing stuff up when integrating regular old easy functions. Um, wishing you guys happy holidays. Anna, look into the camera. This is my cat. Mm. Ciao. <laughs> Do not forget your arbitrary constant. Um, Arbitrary constant SpongeBob, okay? That's the arbitrary constant SpongeBob that we have right here. You can bring negative <laughs> SpongeBob as element of the real numbers. 
we can bring the negative sign to the outside and this basically settles it. This right here is the integral of, <laughs> of the Riemann theta function. I, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for SpongeBob. Give SpongeBob some likes, mate. <laughs> This absolute fucker. Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you do enjoy the advent calendar. I hope you did enjoy it up until now and I hope each and every video was to your liking. And yeah, thank you guys for all your support and up until next video, have a flammable day. Love you guys, appreciate you. Ciao. <laughs>